Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, I've been making some of these videos lately, trying to get them out for the next few days. Um, I'm no, I don't know when you're going to see this one. Thursday, Friday, not sure. Anyway, we're in uh, Fairbanks, Alaska. And we got a trip down to Valdez, which is pretty cool. I haven't been to Valdez before. But I've been down to, I think it's Glen Allen. Uh, which is part most of the way down there. I've been uh, done that a couple times, and it's a neat drive. So let's uh, let's get on with it and head on down to uh, uh, Valdez. So we've got the uh, Rudis uh, 389 here, and uh, it turns out I I made this skin quite a while ago, but I didn't finish it because. I don't know, just the way things come up, you know, and uh, it's um, almost done, like, there's just one little glitch with one of the air cleaner options, the paint on it doesn't quite work right, so uh, I'll get to that. interesting you go in this yard here you get into that yard over there not mistake I'm going to turn right here but I better check the maps not get any info from them. oh we turn left here okay I'm all set for a left hand turn right, a right hand turn oh well short trailer through the ditch there. Ah, I'm close. So I did a skid for this um, Southern Alberta Heavy Haul skid here. After 100 yards, turn left. Looks kind of cool. So, turn left. I don't know if I'm going to get it, uh, the skid pack done before I uh, go in for the surgery. I'm sorry about that, but uh, I'll try... Uh, I get out to uh, finish it up. If things go really well, I won't have to make a video for a few days because I'm doing a bunch in advance and uh, I can concentrate on doing some catching up on the skids. Looking uh, colors from this uh, sky that's being presented us here. It's a fairly heavy load. At uh, yeah, I think it was 56, 57,000 pounds. Or is it 53,700? Maybe that's it. Seven in there somewhere. Younger, I did a stint. A uh, buddy owned a landscaping company. It was a good, successful company. Uh, like that was Dad started it years before. And he started his own company, and then they merged. And they were good, and um, I had the commercial thing going on. And well, actually, I uh, oh, he was a crazy man. That guy. There's <laughs> stories about him. Like, I shouldn't tell stories out of school, I guess, but I don't think he would mind. It was pretty 
nuts. Anyway, yeah, I uh, I, re I did his uh, residential landscaping, like uh, some foreman, like running the crew. We were doing uh, decks and interlock and stuff like that. And then he liked uh, how I was running that so well. The next year, I it was his commercial foreman, so that was all another ball of wax. Like, uh, you know, big commercial jobs, retaining walls, sound fences, and new developments, like, uh, you know, um, yeah, big stuff. Anyway, long story short is uh, my company truck was uh, one of those old square body suburbans, picking the crew up every morning. That's the only way to get the landscaping crews. I'm telling you, it's a rowdy bunch. You know, jailbirds and every other kind. You want big, strong guys, you know. Because you will work hard, man. It's hard work, but you work right along with them. You show them, you know, you lead by example. And, but, yeah, they just... It's funny, every, uh, every payday, I drive them all down to Money Mart or Paycheck or whatever the heck it was called. They turned their paycheck into cash, no bank accounts. <laughs> it was pretty wild. But yeah, that old suburban was pretty cool. Yeah, that was uh, something else. I was never never in such good shape as I was then, I'm for sure. It was pretty extreme work. And you know, I liked it. and they never go to the speed limit. Let's we'll see how the next guy gets along here. If I'm mistaken, I got the 342 gears in here again. Uh, and, um, yeah, we should talk a little bit about the map. Oh, this guy's going slow. Or I'm going fast. Um, yeah, this is the uh, north to Alaska map, of course. One that goes at the very bottom of your map, mod order. But, uh, good map. That's uh, definitely a highway person here. Uh, yeah, Rudis 389, the uh, 70, was it 72 inch sleeper, flat top. Yeah, I think I'll uh, do a, I don't know, maybe a real mini skins. Nine, I guess. Maybe nine anyway. Skin pack of this trailer. The nice thing about skin packs is if you're into convoy, you got options, but it's taking up one mod slot. So you can, you know, everybody can. Everybody wants to drive different trailers. Or can and you're all using one mod. Keep right. Yeah, we're 
this truck. You know, this truck costs the same as this trailer right. mod. After 50 yards, go straight. And to me, that's kind of crazy. Is this, you know, I like the trailer. Go straight. But this truck is kind of special. Uh, going back to when I, this is the first mod I ever bought. Was this truck? My first paint mod. I drove it forever. I have put so many miles on it. And that's before I was doing skins. And this is a truck that got me wanting to do skins. Just because I wanted to learn how to use the... Uh, you know, I asked the question on a few forums. How do you do that logo, your logo here thing that Ruta Truck says? And I was wanting to learn how to do that. Because I just wanted to put a simple my logo. And I ended up learning how to do the skins. Boy, that road needs a shame here. Huh. That's very wild. That's a... Last time I was through here, it wasn't as much as that. Now here's that right-hand corner, I think, that we'll catch out. It wasn't back there. Look how we got a passing lane right up to it. And that other corner was a, oh, was a double line. And it wasn't as, uh, the one I was waiting. I thought I would just wait. Because there was a corner coming. Well, so so well I know the road. But anyway, yeah, it was, uh, I wanted to put my own logo on that, uh, this truck. And this is the one that led to uh, all the skins I've done since. It's not that I don't like the skins that are out there, it's just that I got a particular idea of what I want skins to look like. And, uh, you know, based on trucks that I've seen in the past, not that uh, I saw any of these paint jobs other than pre made as a real paint job. You know, most of them are just out of my head, but, you know, when you sit in a truck and you're driving along, you see a lot of things. So anyway, that's what led to it. And uh, yeah, I had good times in this truck. I think I ended up putting uh, about three or four hundred thousand miles on it before I got my second Ruta mod, and um, I'm thinking the second one was the Freemire. There's the Alaska Pipeline. If you uh, followed the earlier videos, I did a four part video from. Uh, Bay down to, I guess it was Wasilla. That was quite a trip. I saw lots of that pipeline in that one.
built up a body of work. I didn't really want to take the uh, turnpike double down the other road heading south out of Fairbanks to uh, Homer, uh, Homer, because it's really windy. That would be a bit of a, you know, it's not that I can't do it. I thought I could do it pretty well, but just extra heading. Enough, there were loads from Fairbanks to Hawaii. Because I have Hawaii on this map, or in my map mods. Yeah, I could have taken a trip down to Hawaii. That would be kind of cool. But yeah, once again, you know, pretty good load. Pega puts on here.
1400 RPM instead of 12 and a half. I got almost all the information from the uh, side of the truck on the trailer, like the cities and the uh, what we all the phone number. It's kind of cool. Stopped to help the dude in the Lincoln. Well, that's a first. The poor old guy. <laughs> See him broke down that Lincoln everywhere. Always alone. Mm -hmm. A big downhill here. Wow, look at this. Hey, nice. Pretty good. So it'd be cool to have the. Uh, I took the. Uh, Long range camera out of the profile. Just because it was just so difficult to modulate. Oh, look at that, isn't that nice? Oh, there's a guardrail. Okay, so we tap into Jake here soon.
like that uh, of turbo whistle on this engine. I turn it up just a tinge so I can hear it. It's like more cowbell. <laughs> Give me more turbo. Landscapers in there. After one hundred yards, turn left. Definitely a site where you could get a tanker load. I was looking at, uh, I was, uh, when I was on Pinga's site getting the uh, Revolution flat deck. Oh, what is he going to do? Okay. Um, uh oh. I was looking at his uh, polar tanker. Because uh, it's got an interesting template. Uh, I was looking at his templates first of all, and uh, I picked up uh, the one you have for reached your destination. the Renegade uh, Low Boy. Hey, wait a minute. Let's back up for a sec here. Is there a special transport out of here? No. I thought I saw a special transport symbol there. But anyway, yeah, so. I was thinking his polar tanker might be a cool one to get. Oh, that's a pretty cool one, the fire gate. I that went all this way without my beacons on. Yeah, that uh, Revolution flat deck, uh, you know, the flat deck, I B-double, which is kind of cool, because I like backing them up. Might be good to do a hard parking uh, profile and get that B-double going. Kind of fun. Um, a Rocky Mountain double and a Turnpike double, so that's pretty far out. So I'm kind of happy I got that. Just but people say they get bored with this game. I don't get it. I mean, throw on a different trailer, get a different load, challenge yourself a little bit. Put the hard parking thing on if you really find it boring and learn how to back up the B-doubles. Oops. <laughs> I lost my concentration there and turned the wheel the wrong way. So, look at that. I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, there's so much that you can do. Do the map mod thing like this. Lots of fun to be had. Doesn't get old. Yeah, awesome. That was a really cool trip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was that was neat. And 6.27 p.m. Yeah, that's a fairly long one.
quarter, five miles, 55 gallons, 27 grand. Nice. Nice. That's a nice length trip. I'll have to see how long this video was and uh, maybe do more at this length if you don't mind. Uh, I'm all down for it. But, uh, yeah, there's an option to put a whole bunch of lights on this trailer, too, and you can do that. I've done it before, but, yeah, you get in a bit of a hurry. And, uh, oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, I was running this with Ruta's wheels on it. So that's his uh, chrome Alcoas from uh, his truck and trailer wheels. So it's kind of cool. And I set up that uh, Revolution um, Turnpike Double flat deck with his wheels as well but like I say I didn't use it anyway guys thanks again for your uh, subscriptions it means a lot and uh, uh, if you've enjoyed the video give her a like and if not just tell me why I can always try and do better take care and we'll catch you on the next one bye for now